So for step 22, the roll cage. Well, we've got our main roll cage pieces, and then we've got these A8, A9s, which are, are these smaller uh, plastic tubes. One is different, the other three are the same. There are our, uh, the roll cage pieces, and then of course that one there is our roof. So the first thing we're gonna do is put that together, and then we move on to here where we're going to grab our netting, which is that right there. And we're going to cut these into size. And they do offer a template sheet. So we're going to have to cut them around that before we install it onto the roll cage. So I'll set this up and let's put this together. So first off, you can see that if we look at this piece here, it's not this one, it is this one. Uh, where we've got sort of the um, almost like a curved opening that's an open hole for where the screws are going to fit and you can see that there's the a8 pieces we have three of the longer ones one of the smaller which is the a9 so if we were to grab the other side you can see that this screw is going to fit into that side and into there so if we do the first one we know that it's going to go into this longer tube so i will screw that in make sure that it's going in level there we go now i'm just going to temporarily kind of attach it because we know that it's then going to fit onto the other side same idea so if we grab another screw from this side we know that that is going to fit there and I think what we'll do do the same idea I want to make sure that that's going in relatively level yes and I'm not going to tighten it all the way until I've got everything else set up properly and so you can see that same idea you can grab another screw put that in there put that one in there and we'll hold it in place Make sure that that's getting screwed in relatively level. And again, do the same thing on the other side. Because once this one's in, we'll have a bit more of a framework to work with that will be relatively solid. So, same idea and it'll make it easier to screw in the other screws as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tighten this one up now. Same on that side. There we go, there is the start of the roll cage. So again, A8, A8, we know that this one is going to be the longer one as well up at the top so we'll screw that one in as well get that one started and again i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and we'll get that one started Now, again, I haven't done it all the way yet, but you kind of get the idea here. And then you have the smaller one, the A9 piece, which is going to go in to the middle area. 
So, not the very bottom, but the one up from it. So we'll start to screw that in. Just gonna get it started so I can get the other side in. Okay, so that's ultimately how it'll look. You've got the two at the top, one at the back, and then the one just below it. This is gonna be re remain open because that'll attach to the chassis. So I'm gonna screw these down nice and tight. Not much point in doing that on camera. So once that is done, we'll move on to the next bit where we're gonna add the netting and the roof. So for this part here, we have to cut out the square netting pieces. Now, I decided that this was the original template that comes with the kit. I didn't want to use that. I decided to do a photocopy and use something like this so I can keep the original. Um, probably don't need to, but I just decided I would. So I cut out a template here, and in fact, I, with this, the um, other square piece that the kit came with, I actually cut out both those just by placing it on top after I'd cut it and then matching it and then going around as best I could. So I did that for both sides. So I have the two pieces now that we need for both um, the left and right sides of the car. So what we have to do now is actually attach this all to the roll cage. Now, I think what we'll do is if you look at how the roof is supposed to go on, so the louver, wind louver is supposed to sit like that on top, and you can see the way that they're doing this, that they're saying, make sure the fastener sections of the nylon bands are inside of the roll cage. So in this particular case, based on what they're saying, this piece here needs to be on the inside when you roll wrap this around. So if we were to do that, I'll, let's just let's grab one of these pieces. And if you can see how this is going to attach, I think what we'll do is we will, and knowing that it's gonna have to be on the inside of the roll cage, that means that this piece is going to end up going up and around and down so and if we make sure that that's on the inside we're gonna have to yes so let's put it through the top of one make sure that's correct well we're gonna have to go over one I think because that needs to sit like that, essentially. So, knowing that, let's take this now. It's got to go up, over, and through the hole this way. Just like that. So I had to change tactics with this one it was almost impossible to do it with the camera in the way because you really need to be close to the working surface in order to figure this out because the netting moves all over the place the bands are 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 hard so they're harder to get into the holes because then they spring loose and so i just decided to do this off camera but you can see that from the outside you just see the black bands all the way around from the inside, you can see all of the um, pieces that you had to cut the excess bands off of. So they they were saying that the fasteners they wanted on the inside, which is exactly what I've got here. So I have gone ahead and done it. Looks pretty cool. This is on nice and firm. So step 22 is finished. So we're gonna move now onto step 23 and we're going to attach the roll cage. Thank you. 